Welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to be talking about the Raspberry Crypto Pi that I showed in a previous video. I'm sure all of you noticed uh, immediately that this is a 1st of April joke, even though it was posted late on the 3rd of April. I've noticed in the comments uh, for that video that some people disliked the video just because uh, it was late. I'm sorry for uh, publishing late this year and uh, I hope I'll do better next year. So now to tell you a few words about the uh, board and how I made the presentation video. The idea with the board was born from uh, all the hype regarding cryptocurrency and the fact that I did a similar thing last year. I thought it would be uh, nice to make a Raspberry Pi board that will have everything it needs to mine cryptocurrency with high efficiency and a low cost. So I started with the idea that uh, it would have 8 gigabytes of RAM. I took these RAM chips from uh, one of those sodium sticks of RAM for laptops. I took the GPU and CPU from an older laptop uh, motherboard. By the way, the, the CPU, I think it's uh, just a uh, Southbridge chip or something like that uh, from a uh, motherboard. Before we go on with the next items, let me quickly mention the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, which is the official provider of printed circuit boards for the Voldog channel. They even have a prototyping service for 3D printing, CNCing, laser cutting, injection molding, so you could basically build a product entirely with their prototyping service. Check them out! I pretty much kept the PCB layout and the connectors um, similar to what I had in last year project just to keep uh, things simple. I also all ordered some uh, steel stencils for the uh, assembly for the top and uh, bottom side because um, I have all of these uh, 042 passives in here and it would be really difficult to assemble these without a, uh, a stencil. I spent something like uh, $70 for the PCB plus stencils and shipping and probably another 20 on the uh, connectors you see on this board because these are not cheap when you buy them in small quantities from uh, for now. I've uh, reused the 80tiny 10 idea from uh, last year project and it has the uh, same location uh, on the board is this uh, small 6 pin SOT package and it's programmed to flash these uh, two LEDs with some pre-programmed delays. But I thought that wasn't going to be enough, so I wanted to show some kind of display output through this uh, HDMI port, but obviously uh, that, that wasn't going to happen. This port doesn't output anything, it's just a uh, connector. But I had a Raspberry Pi running in the background, connected to my monitor, and I created this uh, bash script that would uh, output something re resembling the boot screen from a uh, Raspberry Pi. So here is the script. Uh, the first line it resets the terminal so we have a blank screen. It then waits for 10 seconds. That's when I actually uh, plug in the board to the crypto pi while filming it. And then it starts printing these lines with, uh, with delays in between. And towards the end it prints some uh, ASCII art with the Raspberry Pi logo. I thought that would make it uh, look nicer and more authentic. I liked how somebody commented on the video and said this is not the output from a Raspberry Pi but more likely from an all winner CPU and that's a great catch. The problem is I couldn't find the boot screen text from a Raspberry Pi online and I was too lazy to connect the serial uh, interface um, to Raspberry Pi to capture that, so I just used what was uh, available, thinking nobody will ever notice the difference. Turns out I was wrong, somebody did notice it. Somebody else also noticed there are only two VRMs on the back, that means two voltage regulator modules, and you can see that because there are two uh, MOSFET inductor groups on the back, and given the uh, complexity of these uh, two chips, uh, it's likely you'll need more than two rails uh, to power both of these chips with, which might be using uh, slightly different rails. So again, a great catch for uh, the person who saw that. So yeah, that's the uh, story behind this board and uh, how I was late with this video. Like I mentioned in the beginning, next year I'll do better and uh, publish on time 
but I think I'm gonna need a new idea because uh, I can't just continue making uh, Raspberry Pi boards. So please let me know what you think in the comment section and thank you for watching this video.